And welcome back. Well, when your doctor says they need to run a test for something, most of the time it'll require a medical laboratory technician, or MLT. And the results of that test may determine what steps are taken next and can potentially affect the rest of that patient's life. Okay, now here's the thing. Many MLTs are now retiring, so there's mm -hmm. this new need for people who have this specific type of training. So where can you get that training? Brady Rogers is here from Herzing mm -hmm. University to tell you about a new program there. Actually, it's not so new as we're finding out this is a profession that's been around even longer than nursing but there's now this new critical need right there is a, a lot like you said are retiring um, I go out to the labs a lot and I see a lot of the, the older people who are getting close to retirement and the, the agencies are really looking for newer newer blood and, and it hasn't been a big push in the last 10 years for the for the program there's only one other school that has an MLT program in the area so mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's yeah. big what makes becoming an MLT so challenging I think it's because you have to know every discipline. Mm. Um, everybody has strengths and weaknesses. Mine, chemistry, blood bank, love them. Uh, always came natural. Microbiology so hard. Uh -huh. uh, hundreds of organisms. How do you test for them? Um, but to be an MLT, you have to be able to cover all those areas adequately, so the doctors know what's wrong and the patients understand what's wrong, and, and we know how to treat it. So mm -hmm. it's always it's always a challenge. How has this MLT program grown in the past few months? Even just the past few months? It, we we just started a little over a year ago. Um, uh, a couple months ago, we started our second group. Um, in April, we'll have our only group for 2013. So we only have one class starting this year, um, which is which is great. Our third group. Uh, but my favorite thing is a brand new clinical lab. We just built a, a hybrid between a classroom and a clinical lab to let them practice all these things that we talk about in all the books. So mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. I know that in terms of your April class, which you mentioned, that enrollment's already going on, it has. and the new lab is obviously a huge plus oh, to yeah. that. What what exactly do they do in the new lab? You kind of mentioned a few overviews. Why is it so important? Do you think to have that resource? I think. The biggest, the biggest problem with any student for any area is the transition from book learning yeah. or the classroom to actual practical application of the lab. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our new lab allows the students to, to practice these things. Um, quality control, um, being able to tell a physician or a nurse that the, that's not the adequate sample for what the test they need to be running. And so we have a simulation course that they manage the lab, they run every test, they are in every department. Basically, I come in at the beginning of the day, give them a sample and doctor's orders, which are fake, of course, and I sit back, it's the easiest part of my day, I just kind of <laughs> watch them work and, and love every bit of it, but it gives them a leg up. So when they go out to the hospitals, they've done all those things, mm -hmm. not just using the microscopes. Well, and this is a really important job, and for people who are out there going, hey, I have a kid who's thinking about school, might be interested in the medical field, or for people who think, hey, I'd like to make a career change, specifically, where do these people work, and what are they doing on a day-to-day -day basis that's really kind of cool? <laughs> well, those are two completely different questions. Yeah. Uh, they, the federal law states that anybody who's going to help diagnose a patient has to have a certain level of training and certification. And, and so clinical labs, uh, hospitals, uh, some doctor's offices will employ not very many uh, to be able to run some blood work and stuff like that. Um, 724 labs in Wisconsin alone. Um, I know that uh, uh, one of the major companies here has a recruiter whose sole purpose is to find MLTs and MTs, MT being the bachelor level of what we do. Um, and so they work in those environments. Day-to-day -day operations could be you could do the same test on the same machine every single day if that's what your goal is. Another one, you could do something different every single day. Depends on the environment you want to work. It's mm -hmm. it's very, very open. Okay. Well, I think you made a distinction there that's interesting, too. You said, you know, you can get a bachelor's as an MT. This is an associate's degree. So yes. people, um, but they can start working as an MLT with a great salary in in shorter amount of time. Uh, 18 months. 18 actually, months. Actually, yes. Yeah. Eight, our program is an accelerated. It's a year long. Uh, I mean, it, it's 18 months. There's no mm -hmm. summer break. Um, we have two breaks in there. And so from start to finish, 18 months, they're they're out and working in the hospitals. So it's Fantastic. Very exciting. What about the opportunity to, to look for jobs? So we understand that a lot of MLTs are retiring, so mm -hmm. that there's this need. Do you ever help with placement or in helping students to actually find jobs? We actually have an entire area whose sole purpose is is job placement. Um, our our schools our campus is pretty new. The school itself's been around since '65, but our campus only has about 300 students, and we have one person dedicated to finding jobs. And she's out there helping and and, and going to these different places and, and doing this very thing. And she's been with Herzing for a very much longer than I have. I think it's been about eight to ten years, something like that. So, mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. And for anyone who's interested, you've got these great open houses mm -hmm. um, for your new lab. So we want to make sure we give 
give the dates and time for that to everybody who might be interested because the open house for the new lab is on Thursday the 21st and Friday the 22nd both at 1 p.m. so you can go in see the new lab learn a little bit more about the program because that April class enrollment again has already begun here's where you can find Herzing they're located on South Executive Drive in Brookfield the phone number is 262-649-1710 or you can visit them online at herzing.edu slash Brookfield thanks so much Brady thank you very much I appreciate it nice Enjoy to have coming. you on the show yeah. great Thank you. you.